it seems like when the wind hits it just right, this hole in the rock behind me makes this incredible whistle sound. I'm gonna try to record it even though it's super windy. See if we can dig that tone out of all the ambience. I came over here because I'm protected from the wind by this huge rock. The hole that is making the sound is right around this corner. So hopefully we'll still be able to hear it. came back out uh, where I could hear the sound a little better with my ears and I'm gonna try hiding the field recorder behind these logs to hopefully protect it from the wind a little bit. Here's my best capture of the whistling rock. You can basically see it just right there. That's the frequency. So I EQ'd it a little bit to try to emphasize that and bring it out. And you can see that it's a little brighter there. It's fascinating to think about trying to bring this sound out of so much ambience. This is from the woods. The surf is kind of off in the distance and you get some wind and the trees, but that whistle is definitely there. I think this will be an interesting challenge to try to do something musical with this, despite all of these artifacts being there. This is the processed version we're gonna roll with, which I just trimmed it down to the points where the whistle was the most audible. So I'm going to drop this into a sampler and see where we're at. So this is just a triad. That was nice. Uh, let's make it sustain. Make a nice little loop here. Wow, that is really nice. I like how the tones come in and out, emerging from the ambience. To try to make the ambiance a little less intense, you can filter. Wow, that was very peaceful. Try and band pass to get rid of some of the rumble. Wow. That's very cool. I think it'd be kind of cool to use to envelope the filter cutoff. <laughs> I'm going to shorten this loop just so we can focus on this envelope and making it feel good.
heck yeah. Give ourselves more attack time so it doesn't sound like lasers. Still a little lasery. Probably don't need quite that much envelope. Oh, yes, that feels great. All right, I'm gonna give myself some more voices and play around with this a little bit. digging this glacial strings sound. It's just such a very textural sound. And I'm wondering what these would sound like layered together. <laughs> the tuning is not right. Okay, I need to find out what, what pitch even is this. All right, I'm gonna play a C, I'm gonna push. Looks like uh, I'm calling. I think it's an E. So let's see. If that was an E and I played a C, that means I need to go up one, two, three, four steps from whatever we had before. So let's do that. One, two, three, four. Let's try that again. I'm gonna try transposing transposing the beach up an octave. See what that feels like. I think I like the lower octave better, but I am going to miss that a bit if I take go back to where it was. So I'm going to do both and just mix this one in a tiny bit. Sound. So it's worth it. Mm -hmm. 